Hello and good morning everyone. I've got a grocery haul here, not a huge one. I think it was less than 140. But, um, you know, I didn't buy meat and I just bought um, vegetables, fruits, um, some snacks, some drinks, some prepper pantry stuff. Okay, so I'll start with the frozen because it's got to go in the freezer. I got some buttermilk biscuits because we're all out of these and the kids like these better than the canned ones when they have breakfast. I got some more Rhodes Rolls. I used the last of them when I made that stew, that beef stew, and these are our favorite. They are so homemade when you get them out. I got, um, I mean, they taste so homemade. Hey, my name is Kendra, and this is my channel. And if you're brand new, sometimes I forget to introduce myself. And if you're not new, you know I forget to introduce myself. <laughs> um, I hope that if you see something you like, you'll give me a thumbs up. Those thumbs up really help me. Um, and also, if you would like to make a comment, I love to chat and meet new people. And if you're not new, I love to chat with you, and you know that. Um, okay, so back to this. I got two of the uh, broccoli florets, and this is for one of the kids. And he really likes that. And so I'm going to put these in the freezer and get right back to you. I missed this that needs to go in the refrigerator, but not the freezer. The freezer stuff is put away. So this was for a recipe. Um, I was going to do this with patience last night, and I forgot to um, do a grocery order. So here we go. Um, it's just peanut butter cookie dough and some Reese's Pieces to decorate them with. And I thought she'd have a hoot. So I'll have her over one afternoon, maybe. Maybe next weekend during the daytime. I just realized if you um, heard me mention Patience, she is my eight-year-old granddaughter and they live here in town and I um, have her over to spend an afternoon and bake or I have her over to spend the night or for a movie or whatever. So um, the peanut butter cookies are for her to bake and she feels like she's, you know, in piggy heaven when she gets to do something like that. So anyway, here's the drinks. And um, we don't drink this, but I have a little box outside on my front porch where I feed the delivery people, you know, mail, UPS, FedEx, whatever. And um, there's a sign there that says help yourself. And there's a can with ice in it and I put drinks in it. So this is new. I've never done these. I usually do the clear glass bottles like of Jones soda or Pepsi or Coke or 7-Up or Sprite or whatever. So somebody might like that. And I just thought I'd try it. So those are going outside. And then I, this is my favorite drink right here, Topo Chico Mineral Water. Hard to find in my area. It's, um, I guess, from Mexico. It's, it looks like it is anyway. And so um, that is, it keeps me drinking water better than I do when I'm drinking tap water for sure. And then I got Milo's Zero uh, Calorie Tea, and that's, everybody here likes that. I'll put these away. Okay, so um, if you are new here, you probably don't know that I do also a little bit of prepper stocking up because I worry that, you know, prices are going to continue to rise and at some point it could be just out of my range to get some things. So I like to stock up. One of the things I stock up on um, is the Vienna sausages. I don't care for them, but if I were starving, I would care for them. This is good until 24. Um, I've also got kids that will snack on these in the evening just because they can. And then um, I got for the prepper pantries four of these. So these are like $1.25 a piece. So this would be one, two, three, four. So five dollars um, in, you know, food that'll make you happy if things are sad and bad and you're not getting what you feel like you would like to have. And then I got um, another of these. These will stay great in your freezer for a long, long time. Equals 16 envelopes. And what is the date on this? Whoops, turn it around, Kendra. You can do it. July 1st of 24. And then I got two more of these. I use these not for making any sort of uh, dressing, but for... Um, recipes. So I got two of these and then I got two of the Pioneer Brown uh, gravy mix and that's really it for prepper kind of thing. Just a little bit each time you shop can make a difference. I imagine I spent in, in this area here $21, $22 maybe. 
you know, these things can be more expensive um, than you would hope. And if I had bought the um, Great Value brand, because uh, I shopped at Walmart, if I had bought the Great Value brand, it would have been a lot cheaper, but I really, really like the Pioneer brand. I, I like the way it turns out right every single time. I mean, how can you go wrong with boiling water and powder? But I have gone wrong, <laughs> so... I know me. All right, I'll put these things away and go on to the um, the next step. Here we go with um, shelf stable things I got. We're just about out of this, and the guys here like it. I like Frank's um, hot sauce better. I think it's called Frank's. I can't remember, um, but I do like that better than this. This is too much for me, um, but I keep it on hand for them, of course. Then I got some chicken bone broth in this brand because it was affordable at um, at Walmart. And then I got bone broth in Sam's Choice brand, and I'm hoping that it's good. I just saw something about sugar. I'll be right back. Okay, I was checking out the um, nutrition label on this. It actually says zero added sugar so no added sugar that's what you're hoping for in my case anyway and 32 percent less sodium and so um there's just 40 calories what did i say oh there it is 40 calories in one cup and i can drink two cups of this at a time um and so there's four servings so three times no four times four would be 160 calories for the whole container which is not bad and the ingredients are pretty good too did i pass them up i just read them well heck <laughs> it didn't have anything bad in it and i didn't read this one but i really like my bone broth right now because i'm eating well four servings are 15 calories in one cup here and let's see, total sugars are zero, dietary fiber is zero, but it's got a lot of sodium here, 21%. But anyway, it's, it's good for me. I like it. No preservatives, GMO-free, gluten-free, no artificial ingredients, really good stuff, good enough to drink, and I do. And then I just, I just showed you how I don't make dressing out of the packets. Well, here's the dressing. The kids are the only one. I have adult guys that live here. They're um, full-time working, um, but they still live on the property. Okay, so um, ground Saigon cinnamon. Uh, needed to stock up on that because I have about a half a jar left but um, you know what's coming the holidays <laughs> so I'll put this away you just have a couple more piles here okay here's the carbs I got two of these loaves tomorrow night I'm gonna um, do just a sub sandwich night and they can have it with whatever chips speaking of chips here's the chips that I bought this week this one and I would not have bought this one, but they like it. And I found the cutest recipe on Pinterest that I'm going to try to do. And it involves these and these. <laughs> it looked like fun to make and fun to eat. And so that's what you have there in the carbs. I'll put those away. And then lastly, all I have left are um, the fruits and veggies. Did you already leave me? I'm sorry, I forgot one thing. It'll be on the receipt if you already clicked off when I said I'll see y'all later. It's a big pack. Here we go, this wraps it up. So, you know what? Ignore these fruits and veggies, they were here. <laughs> I got um, some slicers. I'm gonna use those for tomorrow night's subs. And this was a substitution. I asked for um, just regular iceberg lettuce but they didn't have any left or it wasn't good, I don't know. So they substituted for this, and I like this fine. It's wonderful. Okay, so put those away. Those are both veggies. And then I got these for a dinner. I'm gonna make um, Pioneer Woman's uh, Crash Hot Potatoes. Oh, they're so good, yummy, yummy. And let's see, more veggies, green green onions. They look okay. I better use them up. I can't remember what I bought them for. It was something specific. I ought to write these things down. And lastly, it's just two things of fruit. So the um, green grapes look good on the app, don't they always? But sometimes you don't get them good. But these, these seem firm 
and green, you know, and so I'm going to wash these up right away and remove anybody that looks sus, put them in a container in the fridge because if they're in a bag, they will lay there until they die. The kids won't eat them. Again, they're not kids, they're adults. Um, the adults won't eat them. Anyway, um, but if they're cleaned up and they're right there in the refrigerator door, they'll grab handfuls until they're gone. So there's that story. And uh, cranberries, and the reason I got cranberries is not to stock up yet for, um, you know, Christmas or Thanksgiving, although I do. You put them in the freezer and they're just fine. I'm using these because I'm hoping to make a recipe out of them that I just saw. <sighs> Briggs Homestead. Um, Cynthia and her husband, and I don't know her husband's name, I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, they're super nice and they always have the best ideas and they, they have ideas, everything from homesteading to this one actually came from their kitchen channel. Uh, cause they, I think they have three, three different channels. So their kitchen channel had this and I'm going to try that. And so that is my story. If I can get my mitts online on a certificate, you know, saying a certificate, a receipt, I'll tell you what I spent and what each item costs. I always like to see that from other areas. I'm in Washington State, by the way, about 60 miles from Seattle, across the water. It's closer. You can see Seattle across the water, but if you're going to drive it, you're going to be on the road for at least an hour and 20-ish minutes, and that's with good traffic. Sometimes it's worse. All right. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will talk with you all later.